Good morning, fellas. Soul Raptor Jesus of Altered Games here. And I have a special episode of the workshop today. And I wanted to talk about this RPG that's on Backer Kit called Heroic. And it's a superhero RPG that I've been checking out. It's made by this other YouTuber uh, named Bear the Gen X GM, which he has a great channel, so you guys should check that out. And you should check out his Patreon, so I'm going to put that down in the About section instead of my coffee account and such. And I'll even put his coffee account, I think I have that as well. And his Twitter, just so you can annoy him on there. Because <laughs> uh, I just wanted to do this video because I thought uh, it's a great RPG and it has some very interesting DNA. Uh, it's actually based off two RPGs I've played. And a third I've never heard of. But according to Bear, they're his well, Marvel Superheroes Advanced Edition, uh, DC Heroes RPG Third Edition, and the Supers RPG are like kind of his his favorite superhero RPGs. And he just wanted to make a I guess like you know a superhero heartbreaker for a change, rather than a fantasy one I guess. But I think he actually did a really good job of uh, making just a beautiful system. And, uh, you know, from Marvel Super Heroes, which, by the way, that's my favorite superhero system. That's the one I played a lot of. And I'm the most familiar with that. And he took, like, the ranks and the degrees of success and, like, the great universal table that they have in it. And he kind of just, like, improved it with... Uh, uh, how, like, DC Heroes, like, breaks things down and uh, is, like, kind of an A versus B system to determine chance of success. And Supers, kind of, he took uh, the ability for different powers to combat and, like, counter other powers, which actually is a really cool system. So it makes this really interesting dynamic of uh, if you know your enemies, like, abilities and weaknesses it makes this kind of like information game where you can use the information you've gained to counter all of like their various like over maybe even overwhelming abilities against you which is very comic book like the system is very comic book it, it has sort of like a uh, a choose your ranks type of system but there's also a random generation in the back which i've been utilizing a lot for my own campaign uh, and I've had a lot of fun, like, the, it's, they're very well done random tables, they're not, like, too, they're not bad at all, in my opinion. So, Heroic actually has a very, uh, simple system, and, uh, that kind of has its, uh, roots in how, uh, Marvel Super Heroes is, uh, extremely easy to grasp. Um, when I picked it up, uh, I would teach my, uh, seven-year-old brother when I was 14, uh, how to kind of like play the game. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of players, so I made my little brother and my mom play a lot. <laughs> but it's actually very simple. Uh, it's all based off like ranks. Like the abilities and powers have the same uh, kind of system where uh, you have these descriptive rank titles from feeble, poor, typical, good, excellent, remarkable, incredible, and amazing. Like Spider Man or uncanny like the x-men which is a very high rank uh and then you kind of like compare your values on this universal table uh and if like for example uh someone had a very high like fighting and they wanted to punch someone else with a very low fighting they'll probably have like a really easy time in it they'll look at the column shifts like basically how many like rank titles above the other person you are or below the other person you are it's very intuitive and simple and you could just use this like a uh, universal table for everything and anything that you can come up with as a dm which i really love being able to like have this open-ended mechanic to deal with uh rolls and dice and such And I think a lot of like how this comparative system works, it also comes from DC Heroes, because again, it's that A, and a versus B kind of a mechanic. And that's actually like makes it just really fun, I think, because you still have a chance to defeat that like horrible 
uh, overlord that's just like running through everything and running through all of the heroes and maybe you get that one lucky shot to take them out which again then just like emboldens you to try harder and harder because it's a you got to try you can't be afraid of trying and, and some systems it's like you you do have to be afraid of trying because it's so damn hard to do anything another thing that i really like is how you make your characters uh like you determine a campa campaign rank and so that essentially determines the highest rank within your game and you have so many ranks to DV out based on that higher rank. Uh, seven, I think. I don't quite remember it. I have to read it again, and I wasn't looking at the book this time, fellers. So it's actually, and you choose your origin. The origins are really cool and very open, which I like. So Heroic is actually made not just by Bear the Gen X GM, but his company, uh, Zag Media which has his own world and it's a very interesting superheroic world it's basically a a what if version of 1980 that never ended and he's done a lot of stuff well not just him his whole team of zag media which uh i think he's about five people and i've talked with two of them talked with a uh, bear and this uh uh shanester is the other guy i've talked to which he's the art director Bear, of course, is the greater, but there's a creator. There's also like artists and colorists and layout designers and writers, of course, and uh, all kinds of backers that have really helped him. The product's actually like a uh, hundred ninety-eight percent funded, I believe, is what it says on here. Saw it on here somewhere, but yeah, uh, if it funded fully uh, by May, and I, he's been working on it for a couple years. Well. He's been working on the setting for a very long time, and you can tell because it's just a, a lot of very uh, four-color Bronze Age like goodness. You know, if if you love the the comic books of the 70s and the 80s, like this, the settings for you. But the great thing about the system is you can make your own setting, and you're not beholden to anything he's determined, and it's it's very separate and but also like unique because how you kind of make powers there aren't any set powers because what determines the power is usefulness is the rank and so all you really have to do is describe what the power is and maybe your gm will decide oh that's worth one or two powers or that's worth three powers and in my own campaign i've been working on uh i've been pre-making a bunch of characters for people to play and i've gotten some interesting like results and just a uh, funny i made a character that is basically a super accountant and it cracks me up i think it's the coolest thing because you don't really see that in a lot of uh superhero rpgs you're you're mostly more focused on combat and killing the enemy and such but uh that's all that's something else to talk about the karma system which is for marvel superheroes because you have one of three sides in heroic uh the her the heroes the villain or the unaligned which is like your mercenaries and vigilantes and such which determines like what you get karma for which is kind of this metric of uh, kind of a luck pool and in old marvel it was how you determined your experience so karma kind of uh, is very powerful so following your like moral codes makes you stronger and I, again what goes back to what i was saying how you can overcome greater odds because of the table but you can also push that a little bit more by spending your karma by being a hero or being a, the true villain which i really like i think the best way to play a superhero rpg is to have a, a big game with all kinds of heroes and villains uh, it's just fun that way i think but each their own i suppose fellas I'm actually really excited to start my campaign, and I want to actually get this book whenever it's ready, but it seems like, you know, they have to do all the art and everything now, now they have to pay everybody in order to get things going, but I'm really hopeful that this RPG does really well, fellas, so I hope you guys check it out. 
and check check out the links below all right all right i guess that's the rest of the video fellas if you have any questions please comment down below i hope you like my video if you want to see more of this stuff please uh subscribe i hope you guys uh have a good game next time you play and keep your shield arm strong all right